Another day, another massive collection of PPE just sitting outside exposed to the elements. This time, more than half a million hospital gowns in the Seton Medical Center parking lot. And because of that, experts tell us they should no longer be used in the hospital. I-team reporter Dan Noyes joins us now with the story you'll see only on 7. Dan. Well, Deanne and Dan, the spokesperson for the hospital, told me this isn't a story. Well, I explained that's not really her role to decide what's news and that you care about this issue, about how your tax dollars are being spent. A woman identifying herself as a nurse at Seton Medical Center in Daly City called me to say she saw last week's I-Team report about all that PPE being damaged in the rain at the San Mateo Event Center and that her hospital also dumped many boxes of PPE outside two months ago. After a trip to the beach this past Sunday, I stopped by and found this row upon row of hospital gowns. Well, these are some from Australia, it looks like. Made in China. I started counting. 30 pallets long times one, two, three. About 90 pallets in a row, another 60 more just down the hill. Conservatively, more than half a million hospital gowns sitting outside in the elements, worth at least two and a half million dollars, according to my qualified sources. There are so many questions about this. Number one, who paid for this? Is this tax dollars? Is this money that the hospital's going to pass on the expense to patients? Do they plan on using these things? Is it sanitary with the rain and the bugs and the rodents having access to it? I spoke with the chairman of Seton Medical, Ken Sim, on his cell phone. Then by text, he said he referred this matter to the A-team. Seton Medical spokesperson Tina Oncald agreed to an on-camera interview, then backed out and refused to answer my questions. She texted, the boxes of gowns are there temporarily while we secure new storage space. While the boxes are weathered, the contents are not damaged. Industry experts tell me hospital gowns are supposed to be stored in cool, dry climate and access controlled areas. And because the packaging is stained, wet or otherwise damaged, the gowns should not be used in the hospital. I took this video today. San Mateo County Supervisor David Canapa. This is embarrassing. Um, this is something um, that I'm particularly uh, not proud of being on the Board of Supervisors. Uh, but you've exposed. Um, the sort of transparency and the accountability. When something like this happens, you have to own up to it. Both County Manager Mike Callagy and County Spokesperson Michelle Duran told me they are unavailable for an interview today, but did confirm the county provided Seton with PPE, so they couldn't trace purchase order numbers from the boxes that I provided. The big issue is, what do you do with all that PPE? And that's going to be um, something that's um, going to be a challenge. Well, the start is to keep it inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I tell you? Yes. And you're, you're, to, to answer that, to, that's a pretty simple answer. And, and, and that makes um, a lot of sense. The county manager confirms my report last week that many truckloads of PPE, including gowns and non-medical grade face shields, went to the dump before I discovered that mess in the rain at the event center. Mike Callagy also says, we recycled many dumpers of bedding. Though still unopened, it was in place for mass evacuations, but the bedding had expired. People who work with the homeless tell me they could have used that bedding. Expired or not, it's better than sleeping on the cold, hard ground.